Hello, salty sea dogs. Welcome back. To Port Royale 4. That's right. My name, of course, is Obita Potato. Okay, so let's wipe it into three times speed. Let's wipe it into three times speed. Let's see what the heck happens. Ooh, what is this? A treasure map? Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, how long, how long is the treasure map gonna be, gonna be up for sale? Because I am very, very keen. Let's go and get this treasure map. Holy cow, that is, that is gonna be absolutely incredible. Okay, what do we want to do today in, uh, in the old Port Royale 4? It's a great question. First of all, Tortuga, Bricks and Tortuga, we, uh, we got that, we got that started last time. There we go, except... Hey, we got a treasure map. All right. Okay. I, it doesn't give us much intel, but I'm sure it will. In time, we will get there. All right. So that's good news. That's good news. We don't have any statues yet. We've completed one main objective, but that's about it. We need to board three vessels. We had a very lackluster naval engagement last time. And I'm looking to try and hopefully, hopefully anyway, uh, make sure that we're able to recruit some some sailors and whatnot. That would be that would be kind of great if we could do that. That would be excellent. Pepino and uh, Endeavor, you are both on trade routes. Yeah, I mean we are making like a are insane amount of money, an insane amount of money, which is very very nice. We do have the opportunity to do the uh, the mission for the Viceroy, which we should do at this moment in time. Also, it was pointed out to me in the comments that, yeah. So here's the thing. Here's the thing about um, here's the thing about selling resources to Santo Domingo. The Viceroy, the Viceroy is after. The Viceroy is after. So are they only after tobacco and cacao here? I guess they- I guess they are? I guess they are. I guess they're literally just looking for tobacco and cacao, which means that, you know, we can't obviously supply that, as we don't- uh, as we don't manufacture tobacco or cacao at all, so I guess that we're gonna have to supply it via... somewhere else. The problem is, is that I'm almost certain that we're gonna end up paying... We're gonna end up paying a relatively high price... for the goods as i think just you know general arbitrage means that a whole bunch of the good deals are are being taken are being taken early i'll show you what i mean okay let's set up a trade route let's set up a trade route between port au prince isabella santo domingo right like this is this is pretty much pretty much what we're after port au prince we need to buy we need to buy tobacco right buy tobacco automatically we'll buy i don't know we'll buy like a hundred a hundred or as much as we possibly can really the price is whatever we will pay absolutely whatever in isabella we can buy cacao we will buy a hundred units because it's only going to be a small convoy with a maximum of 200 carrying capacity santo domingo we are going to sell absolutely everything There we go. So sell absolutely everything. So that will get rid of the stuff that is actually on our convoy at this moment in time. So there's a couple of like residual bits and bobs that just need to be sold. Uh, which is, which is grand. I'm going to let the price, I'm going to let the price for tobacco be whatever. And I'm going to let the price for cacao be whatever. And then we're going to confirm and then we're going to activate the roots. There we go. Set sail. The high seas potato. Excellent. Okay. Port Royale is growing like crazy, which is really, 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 really nice. If I go in here, what do we got? Current 6,100 and we're forecasted to need 6,080. So housing is becoming scarce. Did all of that housing expansion that I ended up doing, did that not end up... Did that not end up actually being useful all right well if you insist video game i will build more houses i am happy to build more houses if indeed that is what we require then uh then i shall do just that i will absolutely do just that okay so viceroy hopefully is going to give us a little bit more a little bit more fame but that's fine luxury items been in short supply for a long time 
Uh, therefore, I ask you to buy 99 of that commodity and deliver it to our towns. Yeah, so we do... I did say this, but we do have Nautilus. Nautilus is doing... Is doing the rounds. Is doing the rounds on the trade route, if I'm not mistaken. Where are luxury goods produced? That's the real question. I'm not really sure that I'm overly bothered, to be honest. I'm not sure that I'm overly bothered about it. Because we do, yeah, we do get a couple, so we just got three additional three additional things sold there. Needs your help. We've bought three. Three bought and 36 delivered so far. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, anything else that is sort of appearing on the map? We do have a couple of mini missions which we could set up or we could organize, but ah, I'm not particularly bothered about that. Not particularly bothered about that at all. The high seas potato. You're going to Santo Domingo, uh, and you're not on the right trade route, I don't think. No, you're on Port Royal to Santo Domingo. Look, that's... That's my bad. That's my bad. Just go... Go there. All right. Wait, hold on. That's not the right one. Port of Prince to Isabella. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Port Royal, Santo Domingo, San Juan to Isabella. Wood from France. No. Port Royal to... No. Santo Domingo, Port Royal. What the heck happened to my to my trade route? What the heck happened to my trade route? Santo Domingo, Porto Prince. Oh, it's the Isabella one. Okay, I'm I'm an idiot apparently. All right, that's fine. Uh, reset. How do I get out of here? Porto Prince Isabella. This is the one. Okay, go. Isabella's just this. See, the thing is that Isabella sounds like a Spanish name, and it bends my mind that this is an English town. <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty which is pretty daft, but it is what it is. Okay. What do we got here? Uh we do have two orders in progress, that's fine. We've got loads of vessels that are actually in the harbor here. Not enough command points. Oh, that's a frigate right there. Okay. So let's get all of our trading vessels. Let's get all of our trading vessels into into something. And then, I don't know, why don't we assign to a trade route that's thus far made the most amount of money? Um, Santo Domingo, Port Royal. This is the big, this is the big round circular routes. Puerto, yeah, I think we'll do this one actually. Assign, assign that. The reason that we're going to do that is that that's hopefully going to allow us to get some more luxury goods, which is kind of what we're what we're interested in. All right, Port Royal is expanding like nobody's business. Five thousand eight hundred. Holy cow! One hundred twenty-eight job seekers. So we've actually finally managed to get to a situation where we have a a base number of people that are actually looking for work, which is fine. Which is fine. We also need to keep in mind that we do have one extra commodity that we can manufacture. In, uh, in Port Royal, which is going to be totally, totally fine. There we go. Let's get a hospital. Which we can't do because we don't have the cash, but that's fine. We'll, we'll have it, no doubt, in a bit. Alright. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. We, we should be making a heck of a lot of money. And we are making a heck of a lot of money. It is true. Okay. I don't think we can expand out that away. So we're pretty much we're pretty much at the maximum usable area or usable size of our town. But that's fine. Risk of plague is 92%. Yeah. You're responsible for disease prevention. Yeah, okay. We need to build basically build more hospitals. Apparently that's the that's the plague prevention scheme, which is totally fine. All right. The other thing that we want to consider is maybe we just want to build more uh, more brick manufactories in Tortuga. Certainly, we had a we had a decent time we had a decent time with that last time. If I go into the construction menu, we can build more brickeries, or brickyards. Sure, wonderful. All right, very very happy with that. Uh, what about like logging logging camps or sawmills or whatever? Let's build a couple of those. Build a couple of those too. The more wood we're able to extract, the more bricks we're going to be able to make because bricks are literally just made from wood, as it turns out. It's literally that, literally that simple. Okay, a plague is rampant, which is presumably going to have a detrimental effect on the population. 
Plague decreases the satisfaction of citizens and increases the consumption of some commodities. I mean, wood, I think we... We don't produce locally. We don't produce wood locally, but we do produce cloth locally. We do get a ridiculously large amount of cloth. A ridiculously large amount of cloth. But that is completely fine. Oh, the other thing that we absolutely need to consider is that I wanted to get a shipyard. Let's get a shipyard in there. And then we're going to get a... What is it? A harbor master? Or a shipwright? I think it's a shipwright. I think it's a shipwright that we need, but we need this to be built first. And this takes 21 wood and 20 ropes. So yeah, the shipyard is gonna be is gonna be excellent for helping us for helping us out. Okay, I do have a captain. I do have a captain. I do have a, a naval vessel, even though I haven't actually been utilizing it. There we go. Walrus, wonderful. Walrus needs a captain, which we can get. Captain, assign, excellent. Okay, so this time, this time, I'm looking to try and not have a huge dearth of uh, of crew. The only thing is, is that I don't think the tutorial ever mentioned how the heck I, uh, I get sailors. Oh, it's literally just like that. Okay, we literally just equip them onto the boat. That's it? That's it. It's as simple as that, folks. It's as simple as that. That's all you need. Okay. That's it. Okay, can I commission some more, some more, uh, some more military boats, please? Because that would be very, very cool if that is indeed the case. So I've got two frigates that are currently on order. 96% on one, which is kind of nice. What about... Corvette, frigate. I mean, we could buy a Corvette or we could buy a frigate here. I think I'll buy a, I think I'll buy a frigate as soon as I have the money for it, which is great. I do kind of love that because I am just a, a, a buccaneering merchant, I just have effectively unlimited, unlimited amounts of funds. Which is kind of nice. Uh, but also, I feel like maybe it's a little bit easy. Like, very easy in comparison to what it should be. Alright, purchase that frigate. Not enough command points. How many command points do we actually need? Can I can I get a more qualified captain if that's the, if that's the case? I don't think so. I don't think so. Command points is... Two pips. So what? Is, okay, and we we have three pips. We have three pips within this within this convoy. Okay, I mean that's not necessarily a problem. We'll just have to we'll just have to cut down on the walrus convoy for a little bit. That's fine. And then we just need to go and buy a whole bunch of sailors, which I feel is obscene, but hey ho. All right, and now now we can go a plundering. Now we can go a plundering. Do I want to plunder the French? I tell you what, let me see if I can go and plunder the Dutch. Let me see if I can go plunder the Dutch. Okay. Oh, we can't hoist the Jolly Roger quite yet. Captain available. How many pips have you got? Hmm. Not, not great, to be honest. What does leadership do? 4% more sailors? No, I would like somebody more advanced, please. Okay, hold up. Let's go into one time speed. Convoy in close proximity. Yeah, is that not the point? Okay, Jolly Roger's been hoisted. Let's patrol this area. Let's patrol this area and hopefully see if we can try and... We can try and pirate some, some goods. We need to... We need to make away with all of the goodies. That's what I'm after. Okay. Cash is looking good. We want to try and maybe get some experience on this captain. It's definitely something that we're after. I welcome you on behalf of the oh, Viceroy. Okay, you're complaining because I didn't manage to get all that stuff delivered to you, but that's fine. Okay, how's the high seas potato doing? How's the high seas potato doing? We should be we should be doing real good. We got tobacco. We still have tobacco on board. I thought the mission was to sell the tobacco. I was under the impression that this was a this is a selling tobacco mission. Buy 100 units. Santo Domingo. Sell. Whatever. Yeah, I said whatever the price. Hmm. Alright, that's very, very surprising. How much... 
how much uh, tobacco does the high seas potato actually pick up when it gets into port of prince we got to check this we got to check this we got to make sure that we're not ending up in a uh, terrible situation okay what do we got here we need to buy all the tobacco. So this number should shoot up to 112. Excellent. Perfect. Then we head across to Isabella. And then we buy all of the cacao over here. Which is great. There is... How much cacao? There's only 17. There's only 17 cacao. Which is a bit unfortunate. It's a bit unfortunate. Also, what the heck is happening with all of these military vessels over here? That is rather obscene. Walrus? Yeah, you're a patrol. Keep on patrolling. There we go. Oh, boy. If you leave this attack, you'll lose 50 fame because you do not own a letter of the mark. Your opponent is not able to defend yourself. I mean, I don't have... I don't have... Uh, I don't have a letter of the mark, but I don't need one if I'm if I'm a pirate, right? Oh, boy. Okay. Loss of 50 fame. But you see, the thing is, I don't have any fame. Right? Which means that hopefully we're probably fine. Hopefully we're fine. I don't think that... I don't think that that was necessarily a... Uh, a negative engagement. Okay, this is good. This is good. Loss of fame minus 50. But this is fine. I don't have any fame points. I welcome you on behalf of the crown. I don't have any fame points. Don't even worry about it. Unless they mean this number of fame, if if that is indeed the case, then that might be a bit of a problem. But that's okay. We don't really need any concessions at this moment in time. Just keep plundering the Dutch. Why the heck not, eh? All right. Good. 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 Okay. So what what happens? What happens in the in the fame tree? So we can regress to like two hundred and four. So it's not actually fame points. It's actually fame the number. Okay. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Let's let's not worry about that too, too much. What do we got? We got some commodities. I mean, ugh, pirating seems all right. I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem great, to be honest. It's all right. But nothing special, especially if it costs you fame. I mean, obviously, getting a letter of the mark would be, would be ideal. Uh, it would be great. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for... Harbor Master... Architects. What am I looking for? I don't think I... I want to build a shipwright. I want to build a shipwright. Can only be built once in the town center and requires a large ship. Okay, what do we got? Architects. Workshops for high quality. Commodities. Uh, and the inn. Increases the maximum number of job seekers. Cathedral. Okay, so we gotta we gotta prioritize what we actually want to get in our town center here. I think we're gonna ditch the inn, ditch the inn, and then give me a shipwright, which I would dearly love to do, but I can't do. Requires a large shipyard. The large shipyard concession required from the viceroy. Okay, so we need to get we need to get a concession from the viceroy in order to get a large shipyard. Now, Viceroy, what, what's the situation? What's the situation with that? Ship of the line? Okay, I do want to get I do want to get military frigates and stuff like that. That is that is cool. Large shipyard? Holy cow, we are miles and miles and miles away from getting that. Okay, we need to we need to satisfy. We need to satisfy the Viceroy a lot more than we are currently doing. Okay. High seas potato. High seas potato is doing a grand old job. Now Let's do... I tell you what, I could actually use my my pirate convoy. So it's actually completely fine. Frigate available in Santo Domingo. Excellent. That's that's great. So that's two, that's two frigates that we've got there ready and waiting. So, High Seas Potato does... Does the Porto Prince and Isabella stops. However, let's get Walrus to head on out over here. And in fact, we'll set up a trade route... There we go. Create new routes. Edit route. San Juan. Uh, what do we want? We want cacao. Buy 100 units. Price, whatever. 
cool. That has saved, hasn't it? It has indeed. Okay, what else? Uh, tobacco is a no-no. Barbados. There is cacao at Barbados, but... Yeah. I tell you what we might be better doing. Sound, yeah, just give me a San Juan to... Give me a San Juan to Puerto Padre to Santo Domingo. Puerto Padre, you go buy the tobacco, buy... You know what? Buy 200 units. Buy 200 units at whatever the price. I've got a plan here. I've got a plan here, folks. Okay. Sell and sell. And we're going to sell whatever the price, whatever the quantity. Sure. Okay. And then we assign the route. And then we go. So, here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to see if we can try and develop the cacao uh, business in Isabella. So, I think, yeah, that should be reasonably easy for us to do. We need to get a, a building license first. You're allowed to trade in this town. Increase your fame in this town. Currently 23% to be able to acquire a building permission. Uh, okay, fine. We just need to sell commodities in the town then, which is actually remarkably easy to do. Yeah, we shouldn't have too much uh, too much difficulty doing that. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into here. I'm going to buy whatever, whatever boats are available. We'll go into the convoy planner, buy that, and then we will literally just assign to the trade route that goes around the island. That's the one. That is the one. Assign and on you go. Brilliant. Okay, speaking of buying ships, actually, how are we doing? How are we doing in the shipyard? Port Royal? We can't even order. We can't even order. Okay, so it's pretty pointless to get a large shipyard. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of lame, but whatever, 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 whatever. We might want to see if we can try and buy some ships in the French shipyard because honestly, my my hunger for ships is is large. My appetite for ships is large, and there doesn't seem to be any reason not to not to just immediately buy as many ships as we possibly can. I'm very, very cash rich at the moment. I'm very, very ship poor. In comparison to England, of course. Like, it's... It's a it's a difficult... It's a difficult competition. Okay. So, fame is going to increase in Isabella a little bit, which is excellent. Not enough living space in the town. I mean, that's not my problem. Talk to the town administrator. That's not my business. That ain't my business. No, sorry. Either way, we're going to expand Isabella's uh, cacao manufacturing. I need to increase my fame in Port-au-Prince? Really? For real? Somewhat surprising. But, I mean, I guess we'll, I guess we'll do it. I guess we'll do it. I don't know how fame is measured. Is fame measured, like, on the, like, on the whole scale? Like, is this, is this fame, is this fame per town, or is fame per town something different? Either way, it shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too challenging to do. Shouldn't be too challenging to do. I think that we are on to, I think that we'll be on to a winner, to be honest. I think that we'll be on to a winner. There we go. Alright. Again, you know, we are making an obscene amount of money. An obscene amount of money. I, I'm also on the lookout for treasure maps. Treasure maps, treasure hunting is is definitely a vibe that I'm that I'm highly interested in. Also, England is going to go to war with somebody, and I want to make sure that I'm ready to rock and roll as soon as possible. All right, currently zero percent, zero freaking percent. Okay, give me some more boats, and then let's just get more boats on the circular route. Yeah, there's no vessels to buy in Santo Domingo. Okay, what about in the Spanish capital? Large shipyard. There we go. So that's everything that is non-military right there. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, if we have to buy... If we have to buy in Spain, we have to buy in Spain. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to see is what do sailors actually do? What do sailors actually do for us? 
Apparently nothing. Can we can we buy him? We can buy him. Costs per day are now obscene. Does it speed up like the loading and unloading by any chance? I feel like it may just do that. Okay. Port Royal, Santo Domingo, nope. San Juan to Isabella, yep. That is the one. Assign and let's do it. Okay. What's the Viceroy after? At the right moment. I have a task. So far, Martinique has developed quite nicely. Please look after this town so it will have 2,300 inhabitants. Martinique. Martinique. Where the heck is... Martinique? Over here. Okay, so we need 2,000 inhabitants over here. Do I have a building license? No, I don't. I also don't know how the heck I'm going to be able to increase the... The, uh, the number of houses here. I, okay, I, I really do not know what I can do to try and encourage... To try and encourage growth over there. Yeah. Yeah, yikes, I guess. Uh, more than anything. I, I guess we just need to start up a new trade route in that vicinity. Also, let me see if I can try and buy boats from the Dutch capital. I've bought boats from absolutely everywhere else. Oh, look at this. A trader's flute. Oh, boy. That is that is a beauty. That is a beauty that I am after. Holy cow. The size of that. It's huge. 800 cargo capacity. That's immense. Trader's flute. Where, where did my money go? Give me 94 grand, please, and then I'll, uh, and then I'll do it. England bans Catholics. All right. Okay, I mean, I don't really know what these story events do. I mean, they don't seem to really... They don't seem to really impact the game in any way, so... I guess I just click OK, and then that's it. Okay, so here's what we do. Oh, I accidentally bought a Corvette. That's my bad. Okay, well, we're gonna have to keep the Corvette around. Robin Hood. Cool. Robin Hood has got a cargo capacity of a huge amount, actually. Okay, let's ensure that this area grows. Martinique, so this is going to be a brand new trade route. That's right, a new trade route every 10 minutes. All right, pretty sure. Pretty sure that's, that's good for us. Okay, so Martinique, we want to sell. We want to sell whatever the price We want to sell whatever the price is. Actually, no. Do that. Yeah, do that, and then we'll just take whatever the price. So this way, it's going to be much more expensive. It's going to be much more expensive. However, we're not going to make that much money. However, it does mean that we are going to be able to take all of the stuff that is produced in the town. We're going to be able to buy it and take it away. And... Yeah, I think that's gonna be I think that's gonna be excellent. Okay, assign route to that convoy. Let's freaking go. Uh, it is gonna take the the boat a fairly long time to motor down, with Spain but that's begun. fine. All right, what is this? Secure your trade routes. A floating treasure map, Pepino. En route, please. What is this? A bottle floating in the water. Except, there we go, and activate the route again. Good spot there, Potato. Good spot there. Okay, also the fact that the war with Spain has begun is excellent. Because I am definitely getting in on this action. Like, 1,000 million percent. Uh, okay, Walrus. Yeah, bit unfortunate that you are going to be called away for, for duty, but that's okay. That is absolutely fine. Okay. We're definitely going to see... We're definitely going to see if we can... There's, there's activity over here. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Is that my, is that my ship over there? Oh, these are my ships. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys need to just go to Port Royale, to be honest. Yeah, go do that. In fact, yeah, it, it, that's fine. Okay. 
let's see what the heck happens here oh that is that is a big that is a big big vessel uh should we try fighting the 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 spaniards okay there's a couple of military vessels over here can england come to my aid if indeed if indeed i end up getting into trouble i sure as heck hope so okay we got robin hood robin hood's route needs to be needs to be edited slightly because irritatingly irritatingly i just decided to go to war with spain or i didn't decide to go to war you know some some viceroy somewhere decided to go to war with spain either way we're still we're still gonna sell in in martinique that's fine totally grand excellent okay so we should have three convoys that are that are not active at this moment in time it looks like honestly looks like honestly like we're we're in an okay On place of the crown, I have a task for you yeah, yeah I know I'm looking to buy the letter of um, of mark 162k is is very very steep Francis Drake is knighted wonderful first circumnavigation of the world excellent Barracoa north of Caracas it's over here okay I'm not venturing into that territory I'm afraid that's a it's a big old no it's a big old no I don't want to I don't want to accidentally get destroyed by the Spanish no sorry also we need building permission I tell you what Nautilus let's just get you moved on to another route actually yeah so we'll get you moved on to like this route here assign route and you as well let's get you moved on to that route too okay so this route has made us like an obscene amount of money i mean obviously since it is our it is our big one look at the look at the navy look at the english navy oh my lordy it's huge it's absolutely gargantuan absolutely monstrous okay so we want the letter of the mark in an ideal sense we want the letter of the mark that would be that'd be really great we could also hoist the jolly roger and just go ham i don't think that i'm particularly bothered about that i'm gonna buy building permission yes please i also would like to buy building permission in san juan over there as well the reason that i want to as i've already talked about is i would really oh no sorry it's porto prince and isabella yeah so porto prince is going to be where we're going to expand our tobacco operation there we go and Isabella is where we're going to expand our cacao operation. Like, it's going to be... It's going to be immense, actually. Okay. Yeah. So, keep on... Keep on... Uh, keep on building cacao stuff. And then that's eventually going to mean that that's going to get moved over in much, 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 much larger quantities to Santo Domingo, which is excellent. Yeah. Quite happy with that. Okay, I would really love to go back to back to trading with the Spanish. That would be that would be really really nice. Martinique, how's Martinique doing? It's not doing. It's not doing super great. Ah, the viceroy. At the, right the viceroy is looking for two thousand three hundred inhabitants by June. Also, our oh thank goodness, our military leader has finally leveled up, which is which is excellent. What is that over there? Uh, let's get you back to Santo Domingo because Santo Domingo has got a another military vessel waiting for me so we can immediately deploy immediately deploy that do we want to uh, sure leadership you can you can be a leader that's eh, totally fine yeah I don't think that trading with the same sort of pool of of a you know, ten towns or whatever it is 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 a terribly profitable ah, you are endeavor. At the right moment. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's so hot. I don't think it's so hot. I don't think it's I don't think it's ideal. I think we need to I think we need to try and get back to trading with the, the Spanish. But at the same time, it's you know, there's nothing stopping us from actually having proper Dutch trading routes and French trading routes. I mean, we do technically have, like, two French trading routes already, which is, you know, is doing a is doing a significant amount of business. 
You know, it's not... It's not unimpressive. It is making us money, I think. In fact, I think all of our routes are maybe making us money. Total profits, Port Royal to Santo Domingo. Yeah, but we don't have any convoys on that route anymore. San Juan to Isabella. Yep. Wood from France is making is making a lot of money. Port Royal. Yeah, the, the Spanish route was was a big, was a big, 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 big winner for us, which is very, very good. Lots of profits. Porto Prince to Isabella. Yeah, this is not making us money because we are just like throwing money down the drain in order to ensure that we are selling all of the right supplies to Santo Domingo. Fame point gained. Excellent. Okay, well that was quite easy. England needs your help. England needs your help. What would what would I like? What would I like? Ropes? I don't think ropes are a big deal. I don't think that's a big deal. Preferential treatment at English shipyards. Military frigate. War bonds. Uh, I mean, I would love a ship of the line, to be honest. I would really, really, really love a ship of the line. I'd also love this. Hmm. Sure. Military frigate. Let's do it. I don't think that we're going to end up ordering them. Not for a while, anyway. I don't think we super duper need it, but it is what it is. Also, apparently, still, there is just no... There is just no latitude for uh, for what we're looking for. We're looking to try and engage the, the Spanish, but I don't think that's don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I mean we're at war, but yeah, nothing really seems to be happening. The military the military down near the Spanish territory is just chilling, to be honest. All right, so Robin Hood arriving at Granada. And then we're going to go to Martinique. And Martinique, we should sell absolutely everything on our boat. There we go. Or sell the vast majority of the stuff on our boat, which makes us a huge amount of money, but also hopefully makes Martinique just a really, really great place to live. Okay, you know what? I will actually take building permission in Martinique purely because... Purely, purely, purely because... I want to see if we can try and build more houses here. Like, is that what we really need to do? Uh, you have to be the administrator of the town to commission buildings in this category. Ah, uh, okay. So that's not it's not possible for me to do that then. So I can I apply to be the administrator of a town? To me. I... Martinique. You require 500 workers in the town. I mean, okay. So you're telling me that I mean I could do this. I could do I could build some businesses, but what do I want to do? Vegetables, coffee, whatever, really. Let's do some vegetable farms. Cool. All right. I don't know if that's going to attract enough enough people or enough business or enough anything, but hopefully if I keep the supply of commodities fairly good, then that'll be That'll be fine. Whoa. Excuse me? I have a boat nearby, actually. I have a... Nope. Yep. Yep. Excellent. Okay. We got a stacked... We got a stacked convoy now. Alright. I can't believe the that one of our convoys... England and Spain ended today. Okay. Brilliant. Just as I was about to... Just as I was about to get involved... But to be fair, to be fair, I'm not overly bothered about that. There we go. All right. Where is Nautilus? Walrus. Farragut. Nautilus and Orange. Yeah, I think I want to get you guys back on the Spanish trading route, to be honest. That was a big... That was a big money spinner for us. Okay. You, Nautilus, there we go, remove routes, trade routes, there we go, you can tell by the little map down, down in the corner by the way, uh, that the route is going to be around that area, I, I like this, I like, I like trading with the Spanish, I like trading with the Spanish, it seems to be, it seems I'm to be very profitable, here. okay, now, it's June, Martinique has done diddly squat. Like, Martinique has not grown much at all. 
2,300 inhabitants when I can't actually build... When I can't actually build stuff in the area. I mean, we can try and attract... We can try and attract as many people as possible, but... Bloomin' heck, it's, it's a challenge when... It's a challenge when, uh... You. Yeah, it's a challenge when everything's going against us. But that's, that's fine. Okay, in other news... In other news, let's return to the mini mission of this episode, which was to try and... Oh, is that a treasure map? Which is more than 70 cannons. Go. Wait, hold on. Pick me up with a convoy which is more than 70 cannons. Walrus? Okay. Rocket, activate the route. Okay. Walrus, get over there. Excuse me? There we go. Let's do this. I don't know what this is, but I'm very, very keen. Looking for the hideout of Pirate Henry Avery. My crew is made up. But I, I'm an I, Henry Avery? I'm an I, Henry Avery? Yorick Green comes aboard. Henry Avery's hideout. I thought I was Henry Avery. What can I do for you? Avery, no, I'm Avery Murphy. Okay, is that my brother then? Besiege and destroy the hideout. All right, let's freaking go. Oh, I need more sailors first. Okay, go to Barracoa first. All right, sailors, wonderful. Buy 44 of them. What about Port-au-Prince? Go to Port-au-Prince. Sure. Go to Port-au-Prince real quick. Pick up some sailors. I've been... I've been swindled out of victory by lack of sailors previously, so... Okay, turns out that you can't can't get good sailors anywhere. Maybe Port-Royal. Maybe Port-Royal's got good sailors. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. 65 whole sailors. Oh, boy. Okay, Santo Domingo definitely has a high amount of sailors. Can't believe I've sold... Uh, sailed halfway around the Caribbean in order to find, like, 60 sailors. For real, though. Just give me some sailors. There we go. All right. Yeah, how is there 1,300 available here and then, like, nobody available elsewhere? All right, let's do it. Henry Avery's hideout. That actually looks like a little pixelated picture of somebody. Alright, we gonna fight this? You are under attack. Alright, what do we got? Norvid de Groot. Who is this guy? Alright, I mean, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's do it manually. Let's see what the heck happens. This could end in... This could end in disaster. It could be terrible. It could be terrible. Alright. Let's just see if we can try and smash him. So what do we what do we want? Solid shots? Let's do solid shots. Actually, let's do canister shots, because canister shots actually deteriorate the number of sailors that are on board. So I'm kinda hopeful that if we can yet yeah, minus a couple of sailors, then we can maybe get ourselves into a slightly better position. Okay, end turn. End, end the first turn. The The combat is kind of a bit weird, but you'll see, you'll see how it works in just a sec. So this is a good value shot for them, actually, because they're able to... There's a way to say they're able to get two broadsides off, but apparently that's not what they're going to do. They're just going to elect to do one broadside. Okay, I'm going to get my sailors in here, and I'm going to get them to board, actually. If it's all possible, which doesn't seem to be possible because of the because of the distance here. Alright, so let's just get you over here, and let's get you to turn. Negative amounts of soldiers. Excellent. I get another shot now. Can I board you? I can board you. Okay. Again, canister shot, because I rate canister shot. If we're going to be boarding, then that's then that's what we're after. Minus 25 sailors, excellent. Opponent's going to get a single turn. 
think they're going to try and board me. Or no, I've just been locked. Yeah, and there, they, there you go. You saw them get two, uh, two broadsides off. Okay, let's board. Let's do this. 57% chance that it's going to be successful. Boarding maneuver successful. Okay, so that means that this ship and this ship are going to be locked in a... In the same position for the rest of the game. Unless I think I... I don't know if I can cancel. Yeah, it skips three rounds. Oh boy, that was a critical hit right there. That was nasty. That was real nasty. Okay. Engage. Engage. Engage the canister shot. All right, and then move out of position. Then we end the turn. We do still have some tactics available. Tactics are additional bits and bobs that can help in a battle. So I'm going to use canister shot in the first instance. Nice. 25 sailors down the drain. Good stuff. Reloads. Uh, you know what? Give me a... Yeah, give me a tactic on, on you there. Cool. And then we'll just end the turn right over there. Okay, so the balance of power is up at the top. As you can see, I've got way more effective power than they do, which is which is nice. I'm going to see if I can try and board and immediately end the battle. There we go. That should be it. That's all she wrote. Naval battle won. You thought it couldn't be done. You thought it couldn't be done. Potato couldn't win a, a naval battle, but no, on the contrary. When the force is when the force is easy to deal with, we uh, we won. Nice. Okay. The enemies lost all their vessels. You have boarded two vessels. Uh, do we get? Yeah, we get the two vessels, which is really really nice. We get the sailors as well. We get some cannons. You know, no doubt part of the boat. Uh, but yeah, we've not been able to plunder your commodities because your opponent had none on board. I mean, you know what? Fair fair play. Fair play. Fair play. Nice. Okay, so we besieged that. We're gonna head back to port, which is wonderful. I welcome you on behalf of the. Yeah, I welcome you on behalf of the crowd. Thank you. So a whole bunch of fame. I mean, fifty fame is is not. Not that exciting. Uh, yeah, we we ended up destroying you, known pirates. Yeah, which is great. But I I don't know if there are any other pirates that we would. Ideally, like to smash, because I would. Very, very much like more fame from pirates. Because that was very, very enjoyable. Very much enjoyed that. Also, did our captain get an upgrade? No. Our captain is still... Very much... Not in a position. Yeah, it's not currently possible. Because... Not enough command points. Yeah. It also looks like the... The hideout is still there? Hmm... All right, let's go into Barracoa. Let's go into Barracoa. Let's see if we can try and... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, we got to keep that on. We got to keep that with us, right? Uh, let's get rid of... The smaller frigate, shall we? Cool. All right, Walrus is now commandable again, which is excellent. Can we go back out here? Yeah, let's go pirate hideout. Let's see what the heck happens. All right. Do we do we have to do anything? Besiege and destroy the hideout. Oh, so there's another there's another hideout? Okay, I'm just going to auto this. I think I should Yeah, I should be fine. There we go. Wonderful. Fame point gained. Excellent. You've boarded three vessels. You're very welcome, video game. Now, here's the thing, is that this is kind of a little bit janky, given that I keep having to go back to port in order to offload some vessels. So, you know what? Yeah, offload that vessel. Fine. And then go back to the pirate hideout. Go back to the pirate hideout. Leave all of the, 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 captured, the captured booty in Barracoa. And then besiege down... Besiege down these these uh, these individuals again. Okay, automatic. Nice. It's another automatic victory, which is great. Happy with that. Did we end up taking on board? We ended up taking on board another vessel, which is a little bit of a pain in the backside because I don't know why, but it says that we says that we apparently can maintain a position here, which 
doesn't seem which doesn't seem right. So let's head back. Head back to Barakoa. Yeah, still only four pips there. Still only four pips there, even though he must be one of the most experienced naval battle people around. Alright, I don't know if we're farming these pirates accordingly, but like... I'm trying. I'm trying here, right? They just keep on throwing pirate ships at me. Yeah, I don't think that there is any other action that I can take. Attack the hideout. Oh, it is going down. It is... I think we are besieging it. Which is kind of nice. If I have a little look at the battle progress. Don't know if that counts for anything. I guess that is besiege progress. Freedom for the Netherlands. United Provinces is also known as 7... Now, Netherlands declares independence from Spain. Okay. Cool. Alright. So, I don't... I don't think that was ever in doubt. Netherlands independence... It's always been independent around here anyway. Um... At least with regards to the, the towns and cities that they've got. Hey, we got it. Okay. Your crew smashed the pirate's hideout and destroyed the pirate. Also managed to seize 96,000 bucks, six commodities. Among the commodities are all of this stuff. Cool. Task completed. You managed to burn out the hideout of pirate Henry Avery. Captain Yorick Green uh, makes off with a small boat satisfied. He hands over a piece of the treasure map Very to your well. crew. You have destroyed Henry Avery forever. You're welcome. Delighted. Delighted. Okay. We're working on the treasure map. That's real good. Very, very happy with that. Tactics are now fine. We got two fame points. Holy cow, we are... I welcome you on behalf of the crown. We are great. Oh my goodness, we are in a great, great place. Okay, let's do war bonds. Wonderful. Ship of the line. Wonderful. And then we're going to go for large shipyards after we do... War chest. Yes, yeah, so we're going to do war chest, then we're going to do large shipyard, which is excellent. Very, very happy with that. That large shipyard is going to allow us to build, hopefully, those really, really nice uh, Dutch trader flutes, I think. Like, I think that that is a, a Dutch only... a Dutch only vessel. Uh, okay, that's nothing, nothing of interest here. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a Dutch only vessel, and if we're if we're able to build that, then that'd be great. Also, getting the ship of the line would be would be singularly exceptional. Santo Domingo, how much how much stuff have we been delivering? Actually, not bad. Last month, seventy eight fame. This month, yeah, okay, we are we're in a really great place. Uh, Port-au-Prince needs some additional tobacco businesses. There we go. Yep, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, I mean the amount of the amount of wood and bricks that we are gonna be required to move to Port au Prince, it's gonna be obscene. It's gonna be absolutely obscene. However, it will absolutely categorically be worth it. Like we are genuinely one hundred percent in the money. Four. Cool. All right, so more cacao, more cacao, more tobacco, which is which is great. That should definitely push us over the line in terms of in terms of tobacco and probably even cacao as well. I do feel a bit bad for Port-au-Prince because I am basically Come just here. completely destroying their local economy. All right, in our towns, commodity ropes have been in short supply for a long time, while Spain is enough in stock. I therefore, ask you buy 231 of that commodity up there by September the 26th. And deliver it to our towns. Okay, well, I will do that, but I'm going to be doing that in the next episode. Because I think that that is a wonderful place to wrap this one up. Uh, Santo Domingo is is growing like crazy. Port Royal is also growing like crazy. Apart from the fact that it's had 16 plagues in like the last 10 minutes and I haven't really been paying attention. We smashed a flipping pirate hideout. There we go. Take the, take the, the fleet back to the trade route. Uh, I'm looking forward to smashing more pirates. We're making good progress on the treasure map as well. We're making good progress with our additional objectives. We're in a really, really nice place. Uh, so, ladies and gents, I hope to tune in next time. But for now, it's been me, Orbit of Potato. Thanks as ever to the fantastic support over on the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Orbit of Potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana, C Senpai, and Aurelio for being the three $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.